guys. Looks so beautiful and festive out there. Uh, but back here in the studio, our top story tonight, we are counting down the hours until kickoff at the New Mexico Bowl in Albuquerque. The New Mexico State Aggies looking to win back to back bowl games as they will play Fresno State in the Duke City on Saturday. And kickoff is now less than 24 hours away. KTSM 9 Sports Director Colin Devers on the road in the Duke City with the Aggies. Colin, how are these teams spending their final hours of preparation for that big game? Yeah, Natasha, we just wrapped up a pep rally in Old Town, Albuquerque about 10 minutes ago. Both teams participated with the coaches, players, and bands, and that is really the last non-football activity that we will have for these teams. We've talked a lot about non-football activities with this bowl game. That's what typically happens with bowl games, but now less than 24 hours till kickoff. It is time to talk some football as the Aggies and the Bulldogs are gearing up to play that game in the New Mexico Bowl in Albuquerque on Saturday. Now, the Aggies, of course, entering this game at 10-4 and four on the season and are coming off a loss to Liberty in the Conference USA Championship game two weeks ago before that defeat. NMSU was on an eight-game winning streak, including beating Auburn after starting two and three. The Bulldogs had almost an exact opposite season. They actually started eight and one with victories over Purdue and Arizona State, but after quarterback Mikey Keene got hurt, Fresno State lost three consecutive games to end the season and finish the regular season eight and four. For the Aggies, they're trying to finish their fantastic run to end the season with another victory, while the Bulldogs want to close the season how they started it after a late season swoon. They've done everything um, they could do. They've done everything Coach Kills asked them to do. And, uh, you know, they've had some shining moments, you know. It's because when they decided that they were going to be a good football team, they became a good football team. We know what we want to do. We want to win. That's what everyone on this team wants to do. So when, you know, it's business, everyone's focused on the business, and everyone has the main goal of winning, winning 11 games. It all started with us looking in the mirror. We had to see that reflection and see if we liked what we were looking at. And obviously we didn't, so we had to get back to work. There was no pointing fingers. Uh, there was just all, all accountability was taken, um, and everyone's just ready to get, get, at, get after it for this next game. So we're super excited, um, and this is a great opportunity for us. Kickoff is at 3.45 p.m. Saturday on ESPN. The teams, again, just wrapped up a pep rally and are back at their hotels continuing to prep for the game. So what's at stake for the Aggies in their first back-to-back -back bowl trip since 1959 and 1960? They can tie the most wins in team history with 11 dubs. That last came in 1960. They can also stay undefeated in bowl games all time. They're 4-0-1. That's one tie in their history. They're the only FBS team with zero bowl losses of teams that have played in bowls. They're also already assured of back-to-back -back winning seasons for the first time since 1964 through 1967 they can also go 2-0 in Albuquerque this year. Coming up at 6 p.m. on KTSM, we'll dive even further into this matchup between New Mexico State and Fresno State. Why Fresno State is really motivated to win this game for their head coach Jeff Tedford, who cannot be here today. We'll also dive into the quarterback matchup between Diego Pavia and Mikey Keene of Fresno State. That's coming your way at 6 p.m. on KTSM. We'll see you then. Natasia, back to you.